Hi Libra, welcome to my channel. We're doing a reading. How are you? All right, so let's begin over here. Um, please do remember I do say the old chart on this side, and you can get your report also in the description box below, and you can get a 2023 prediction. Okay, and uh, what it entails is like your life ahead of you. Okay, so here we go. Let's begin here. Okay, how are the Libras? Okay. The moon is in Aries. You may be finding your person right now a little bit confusing, but we shall see. Okay, let's see what's going on there. Mm -hmm. hmm. You got a six of pentacles as your first card. Let me see what's up with that. Okay. Now the Six of Pentacles is a beggar card. Um, remember they were out of the facility in the Five of Pentacles, but now someone is willing to accept that they have a need. During that time, two people are just suffering outside. Here, someone comes to the rescue. So it feels like you're coming into the rescue to your person. Uh, when I say that, it means like you're open for communication. Mm -hmm. Let's see here. You have the Six of Pentacles. Okay. Um, the Six of Pentacles is a card of... Um, this is a card of, like, yes, giving and receiving, Six of Pentacles. Um, but it feels like you're giving them attention now. So before, probably, you know, like, there was no contact. And now, you know, everything is coming together. But, of course, with the Six of Pentacles, you may reply to them, but they're not your priority. So for you, it's okay. We can talk. Um, you're not the beggar here. I don't think so. Um, I don't feel it. Um, it's They're not the beggar also. I feel like there's just uh, communication just started to resume. Okay? Now, what I'm seeing here with the Six of Pentacles is a card of... Um, what I feel is like it's... It's like the two of you have an understanding that this is just a start. It doesn't conclude anything, okay? It's not like, whoa, uh, you know, we're talking, so we're back together. No, not like that. It's like being civil, being proper, and you guys are just dealing with each other the right way, okay? Um, with the Ten of Wands, though, there was a lot of grievances between each other here. Um, the two of you aired out um, certain feelings and emotions on uh, what was difficult and how difficult it was dealing with them and you dealing vice versa. It's like this relationship is taking a toll on you and taking a toll on them. So now it's basically showing that um, you are trying basically to unload everything onto them. So the Libra is letting go of any kind of resentment, um, any kind of burden. For you, you know, this is the scale that's your card, right? I mean, that's uh, your symbol. Um, you know, it's the give and take. Um, uh, you're just airing to them and telling them, I am burdened by this relationship and I'm explaining to you um, that this is what I'm feeling. And the Ten of Wands is more of like taking responsibility, doing this for you, doing this, doing this. And then it, it's like, you know, it's a whole thing, okay? It's a whole thing. And after that conversation, when you guys had that communication, um, Seven of Pentacles, it feels like the two of you right now are just saying that, okay, um, let's just wait it out. You know, Seven of Pentacles is being patient. The two of you right now are coming in uh, to the connection. Um, uh, with the Seven of Pentacles is like, uh, it's more of, let's see where this goes. You know, no conclusion, no expectation. Let's see where it goes. The Seven of Pentacles is, you know, like just waiting. There's a staff over here. You know, that's, I forgot, you know, is that a rake? You know, um, with the pentacle over here, it's like this is, uh, you know, Six of Pentacles here, um, Six of Pentacles. So after the time, you have to understand, this beggar right here, they got the coin, they put into something useful. Mm -hmm. So this is like whatever you guys had a conversation, it's starting to grow. So there was a good there was a good turnaround 
in that meeting. You know, when you send an email, I hope you find this email well. <laughs> so meaning in the meeting that you guys have, you know, um, there was uh, there's something that came out of it that was good. Okay. Um, which is, that's nice. Okay. Four of Swords, it, it gave the two of you clarity on what to expect. Um, the Four of Swords, of course, is a card of um, feeling uh, secure. Okay. You guys are not together. Um, you guys are not, you know, coming in like, okay, we're in a relationship. This is more of like, at least we're at peace for now. There's no fight. There's no hatred between the two of you. It's more of like we have a clear understanding. This is what they're saying. Then you have the King of Swords, which is the truth. You've explained to them, you told them where you want this now. The King of Swords and the Four of Swords, it feels like everything now comes to full circle. It's like having a peaceful relationship. Oh, that one goes for the books, having a peaceful relationship. Mm -hmm. Ooh, and a Hierophant. I like this, Libra. I feel like there's a team effort. Hep, hep. Hooray. <laughs> there's a team effort. It feels like you guys went on a weekend workshop together. <laughs> a company outing. Okay. In Los Baños. <laughs> if you don't know Los Baños, you're missing out on your life. I'm kidding. Oh. <laughs> Gubat sa syudad. <laughs> Gubat sa syudad. Tagad dyan kami dati sa Mikaloocan. Malapit sa may Visayas Market. The Hierophant over here with the King of Swords, um, it's a showing um, that the two of you have this blessed relationship. Everybody's having a blessed relationship today. What is up with the moon? Okay. Everybody's doing well, apparently. Okay, good. Because no. um, the two of you are finding the forgiveness, the light, you know. Um, like, it takes two to tango. I have my mistake, and I... Imagine that apology from the two of you. Okay. And then Hierophant is a stable relationship. And a will of fortune. I love this. So finding peace and balance in everything right now is turning, you know, to your favor. It's a wonderful union. Of course, you're going to say it doesn't matter. It's not resonating because it's a future, darling. You don't know if you're going to win a lottery, right? It will never resonate. So it's like the movement of the energy of the relationship here. Even though Rahu and Moon are together today okay, in Aries... Oh, I see what's going on then. Maybe this is just an illusion. <laughs> so what is going on here is like uh, the situation becomes at peace. Finding, you know, like the two of you have faith in each other. The two of you believe in each other. Wow. So behind the scenes, there are things that the two of you will discuss, especially the Wheel of Fortune and uh, the Hierophant. Like what are the things that um, that is needed for this to surface, Right. Um, why all of a sudden, like you guys both take a chill, they, uh, took a chill pill with the seven of pentacles. The two of you have a clear understanding right now. It's like, oh, let's be patient. Okay, let's see. Now, this is the grand reveal. Let's see what's going on here. Mm -hmm. Okay, so in the grand reveal, we'll answer all of your questions. As the two of you find peace and hope, you know, now this is going to be a long-term partnership. Um, it's very stable. This is what I'm seeing here. How is it going to manifest? What are the things that the two of you will conclude with the Four of Swords and waiting for this person? I feel like they're going to put an effort. So let's see what's their effort and the waiting that you have with your person. Okay. Now, let's see here. Okay. This situation right now, okay, what I'm seeing is that it's coming to a point where you understand them and they understand you. I love that, okay? 
Um, this is this is good for you, Libra. I like that there's peace and harmony. That's what I'm feeling energetically with your person. Oh, and another Wheel of Fortune. Everybody now. Everybody. I'm the Oprah of relationship. You get a relationship. Everybody gets a relationship. Okay? In thousands of years, I gave everybody a karmic. That's what I did. <laughs> that was thousands of years when I was upset with a little, in a little town that I was passing through. <laughs> I gave everybody a karmic. <laughs> but the Libra here, I feel like fate has decided this is future marriage. Oh, as a Libra, okay, myself. All right. No, I'm not planning on marriage. <laughs> I'll attend. I won't be the participant. No, no. But look at this. 78 cards and 78 cards here. The last card and then the first card on this deck is about the relationship. You guys are fated to be together because there's a clear understanding now what was wrong in the relationship. If this is a therapy, this is when we say, I will see you again, and it's $150 every hour. <laughs> it's a breakthrough. We're having a breakthrough here. Um, I know I'm joking, you know, but, you know, coming back to the read, your relationship becomes serious. It goes to the next stage um, because... You know, in the Wheel of Fortune, it's like taking a leap of faith, taking a chance, and having hope. Not just a star card is hope. This is like you have faith in the relationship. You have faith with the person. You have faith that, yes, we have some difficulty, you know, understanding each other, but everything will go well. And it, everything is going well, I feel like, with the Wheel of Fortune. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to continue this reading as the two of you finally, probably, okay, but the Wheel of Fortune will always spin, okay? It's always spinning. So let's see where the will, where fate has will bring the two of you, um, you know, in this union, okay? Lovely. Thank you very much, guys, for watching, and I will see you guys again. Bye. Mm -hmm.